You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts. Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height, but the same reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 221 pounds. Fighting at a great city for weight, mystery. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, for a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, you ready? You ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride and the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Beautiful right leg kick there. Just out of range with that right hand. He's rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Nice leg kick. Shoots a knee and lands it. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Oh! And a miss with the right hook. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Tagged him. And a good body kick. 
Smith with the elbow there. Over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Punch coming. It's blocked. Good knee to the body. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. How about that chin? Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. That one hurt. Oh, and he connects there. Inside leg kick now. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice left, left kick to the body. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lands a kick to the leg here, Joe. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, he caught him with an uppercut. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got enough to move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Just out of the range with that right hand. Able to check the high kick. Strong inside leg kick. Oh, and he's down! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Yeah. Inside leg kick lands there. 45 seconds to go here in round one. That's a nice clean shot. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Blocks the shot. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. 20 seconds to go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Final seconds here in round one. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Here's a body kick. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Lots of action in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. Second round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round, try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. It looks like he's injured. Yeah, he's digging into that leg kick. Well placed kick there by Lee.
Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attempt. Hard leg kick. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Good inside leg kick. Slips to avoid that left, Joe. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. The left hook hits home. Whoa, head kick. Just a slip there. Oh, looking for that uppercut. Almost landed it there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice defense there. Huge block. There's that side kick. Finds his range with the jet. Oh. Like it did stun him a little bit. He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Side kick is true. And again, Joe, he's showing a vulnerability to that jab, leaning right into his opponent's striking range and leaving his head wide open to absorb damage. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Oh, misses with the jab. Clean jab. He lands the head kick. That one hurt. Just misses there with the left. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, and he caught the kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Going to the body there with the right kick. 30 seconds to go in round two. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. He eats a, ni a nice right hand. And he eats a right hand there. Seconds winding down in round two. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, it looks like his leg might be hurt here, Joe. Limping a little bit. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. 
Very impressive striking going on in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building. Third round underway. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. How about that chin? All right, so another strike to the body there, and Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Went high, missed. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice. Jab. Oh, head kick. The right hand just misses. Just misses with the straight left hand. Whiffs on the right hand. Just over three minutes to go now. Misses with the right hand. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. Straight hand there, nice job by Lee. you're looking for try to take the judges out of it he is lighting them up now almost hits him with that left hook just over two minutes to go oh he just missed with that straight left hand Joe Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, tagged him. Lee's shot is blocked. Showing the punch. Well, not much setup behind it. The right hook misses. Under a minute to go. And he landed the right hand there. Kick to the head. And there he swung with the haymaker. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Goes for the head kick, but misses. Oh, strong uppercut through him there. That'll get his attention. Just missed with the left there. 
Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Left hook. Just missed with the straight left hand. Huge Massive shot with the hook. True, now we'll see if he can follow it up. Man, what a round, what a round. Here's a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some really well placed strikes on display in that round. I need you to check this cut. Ariane Celeste is with us. for five five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. How about that chin? Ooh, blocks the shot. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, he got caught! Oh. He's in trouble, he's in trouble! Misses a huge hook to the head. Punishing kick there. Can we show you the total strikes? Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Nice counter right hand lands for him. With conviction to the body. He's checked. And he's down. Just misses with a left hook there. has been there at times, not that time. Just out of range with the head kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Head kick lands, Joe. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. It looks like he's limping. that straight punch or so it appeared Joe oh and he counters with a straight left that landed flush just over two minutes to go big kick but miss well his opponent's got the lead now Joe as he lands the punch to the head he's got to change up his striking pattern in the tempo or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, double jab. Kick lands for him. Oh, nice. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Nice. Very nice. Takes a oh, oh. He's got he is stumbling. Oh, he's getting tagged. Oh! Didn't quite.
quite connect. Under a minute now to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and now he's in big, big trouble here. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. 30 seconds to go. Huge uppercut misses. And he connects with the punch. Lands a nice left. Inside left. Joe, another miss with that kick. And there's the buzzer in the game. Oh, oh, oh. Round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Let's check it out from a different angle. And here it is from another angle. Ariani Celeste in the building as usual. Fifth and final round. His left eye is closing up. Oh, head kick. And another kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the left hook. Jab. Spinning back fist. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. He just whips that punch in. Just missed with that huge kick. Slips. Constantly a moving target. Clean execution on that leg kick. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Lee's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious lift. Continues to work. Vicious that is it. kick lands. He is not going to be able to continue. That's it. It's over. And he gets the stoppage by nasty kicks to the leg. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. So there he is, your winner by TKO here tonight, and the celebration is on with his coaches and his training partners waiting to exhale.
He can finally exhale now after the big win. Kept the judges out of it as he said he was going to do. And he might even win a bonus after that performance, Joe. I guess we'll wait till the end of the night.